Hey, this is Matt Sharp from The Rentals. So uh, the rentals basically uh, started in uh, the, well, we started as a way for me to just to be able to work with people that were in our community uh, that I was like just inspired by, and that were and they were doing things at the time that I thought were relevant and interesting, and uh, and and I just had admiration for. Uh, we're having so much fun on this tour, I can't even tell you. The the two new uh, singers that are with us are just like um, so into like into synthesizers and they really know them well. Uh, so that makes it super easy because they're like, usually we have a situation where we just have singers and then we just kind of show them the parts. Um, but in this case, they're way better than I am I am at those things. I mean, that doesn't take much to do. But they really, like, are, they're, like, interconnected with them. And they're really, like, able to do things and change things on the fly and augment things to make it sound way, uh, way cooler. And, uh, and so they, like, own their stations, you know? And that, that makes it, for me, so much easier because then I can just, like, run around and have fun. The best. This is like super low, and this one's just higher. And then the filter I just use as I would on my Juno, just to like. Oh, yeah, okay. the first rentals record in 95 it's just it's almost the 20th anniversary now so it's like in october somewhere um and uh that just came out of like total like uh totally out of the fact that this the, the place we were recording the first record had two modes in the studio they had an opus three and a source and uh and we you know we had uh once we started kind of getting into it, that became like a really super primary thing for the for the band. Like that was like, and we wanted them super forward, which I guess at the time, just in that little window, that was sort of odd at the time for 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 people to put them as sort of a lead instrument, sort of very you know like very very forward in the mix and all that stuff. So then like I became sort of synonymous with that or the band became sort of synonymous with especially with modes which is kind of was like it happened right out of the gate like if like people started like bringing their synthesizers to shit it's like right out of the out of the gate like so when well, you saw my like whatever you know my radio shack little uh mode or whatever it was and like all kinds of stuff and 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 uh which was a little scary because it's not like i'm not really super technical with them i just kind of messed around with them i like and uh and i ended up finding something uh with the guy who produced the record that like a certain sound that that i particularly like that especially the source has you know and uh and then i just started to think about them more like like some guitar player would think about like uh oh i'm a Fender Telecaster guy, or whatever, you know, or a drummer would be like, I'm a Ludwig guy, or whatever it was, and I just started to think about the source like that for us, and like, and not think about like, ever expanding all the limitless possibilities of synthesizers and all the crazy things you could do, I thought about it, no, this is just a particular sound that defines us, you know, and much like somebody that would be like, I play a Les Paul, and I plug it into a Marshall, or whatever, like I kind of thought of the sources that way. Before Weezer started, uh, Pat uh, Wilson, the drummer of Weezer, and I were very good friends, uh, and we were both very geeked out on a lot of on a lot of things. Especially the thing that probably ended up being most influential to the Rentals is with Gary Newman, uh, 
and and a lot of a lot of the times on the first album there was sort of an inside joke of what would Gary do, you know, uh, in this particular case. Uh, and you can hear it, and there's definitely a style to the way that we approach the synths on that record of just sort of the way that we uh, do certain like arpeggiated lines and things that are very, you know, with without him, <laughs> they probably would not have existed. Uh, and But it was something where we used to, uh, Pat and I used to really geek out on the pleasure principle, uh, and that was, uh, you know, and uh, one of those things where it, it's just such a perfect album, and it's still one of those things that I go to and, you know, and just have that same, I have the same reverence for it now. Those, the, the, way, the way that that the synthesizers are so forward and so rich, and you're able to appreciate, like, just the the warmth of them and how like all encompassing they can be and, uh, and how you can really hear all the, the character in them was something that was really appealing to me in a big way. And there was, and there were some other albums by, by other groups, but I always think, uh, you know, a lot of it came from that. Uh, and that, that is something that I think, you know, certainly the rentals were not, you know, uh, unique in the fact that we use synthesizers, it, it, but at the time, it just was there weren't a lot of people using them that forward, where you could hear the really defined characteristics of, you know, whatever how they're, you know, how the filters are working and all that stuff, where you could just where the lead lines are really, really forward and really up front. You can hear all the little details in the in the in the synthesizers and. And that was something that was really important to me on Return of the Rentals, is that we were using it in a melodic way and not using it just as a, a kitschy thing to go, oh, look at all the crazy lippity bloop noises it makes, and oh, it can sound like a robot, or oh, it can sound like, uh, you know, just straight white noise. I really wanted to use it in a, in a, in a very straight, you know, where they take over the melodies and they, they have very, uh, very specific kind of... Uh, hooks or whatever you want to call them. I don't think of us as looking for the limitless possibilities of synthesizers. Uh, we really look at it as a sort of a pure sort of sound that those sources had and, and you know, and, and a lot of those earlier Moogs had, like the Mini Moog and those things. Uh, but the source in particular has a particular sound that sounds like the rentals. It is our, it is a, the way that we, uh, it is, it's, you know, who we are. Yeah. Uh -huh.